Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze an exhaust valve for a static structural analysis. We will start by discussing a bit about this engine valves or exhaust valves of IC engine. A valve is a device to close and open a passage. Engine valves are devices that are used in internal combustion engines to allow or stop the flow of fluid or gas from cylinders or combustion chambers while the engine is operating. These are also known as check valves which are used for air injection in vehicles as part of emission control and exhaust valve recirculation systems. Engine valves are commonly employed in every type of combustion engine such as gasoline, diesel, kerosene, natural gas or propane. So this is how the engine or the exhaust valve looks like. This is also called as a poppet valve. It is also known as mushroom valve because of its shape. It is used to control the timing and quantity of gas flow into an engine. This is the most widely used valve in an automobile engine. The poppet valve is given the name because of its motion of popping up and down. So these are the various names or the parts associated to a poppet valve. This portion is the head. This is the face. This is called as a margin, the gap over here. This is the valve face angle. This part is called as a stem. You can see here there is a spring retainer log groove at this end. So this is how the poppet valve is indicated. It consists of a head and a stem. The valve face usually with an angle of 30 degree to 45 degree is ground perfectly since it has to match with the valve seat for perfect sealing. The stem has a spring retainer lock groove and its end is in contact with the cam for up and down movement of a valve. In exhaust, a pressure differential helps to seal the valve. In intake valves, the pressure differential helps open them. So here we are just trying to seal the valve and not open it. Intake valves, because of their lower operating temperatures, are typically made of materials such as chrome, nickel or tungsten steel. The higher temperature exhaust valves may use more heat resistant materials such as nichrome, silicon chromium or cobalt chromium alloys. For our analysis, we are going to use the cobalt chromium alloy. So that's it with explanation. Now we will start with the use of static structural. We'll double click on it. We'll first go to engineering data and add the material that is cobalt chromium. So here I'll write down cobalt chromium alloy. Now since we are doing static structure analysis, we will start by giving the value of density. This is the website that I am going to refer for the cobalt chromium alloy. You can see cobalt is 70% and chromium is 30% in this alloy. Now if you check out these values, you can see the density is 10 gram per centimeter cube. So I will start by giving this value here. I will change the units to gram per centimeter cube. And this is 10. Also, we will give the value of isotropic elasticity. So, you can see your Poisson's ratio is 0 0.29. And Young's modulus is 210 gigapascal. So, I will give Young's modulus as 210 gigapascal means 10 raised to 9. And Poisson's ratio is 0 0.29. Now, if you want to also calculate the safety factor and all, you need to give some more value of, I can give the value of tensile yield strength. I can see the property over here. It is 
one one three zero to one nine double zero mega pascal. That is the ultimate value, and the yield starts at four seventy to sixteen hundred mega pascal. So let's take the ultimate value. So I'm taking nineteen hundred mega pascal as the value here. Change the units to mega pascal. This is nineteen hundred. So all the properties have been given. So I'll go back to the project and update project. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click on it. I will import the geometry as I already have it made with me. You can go to the video where I have already explained about the steps of making this exhaust valve. You can refer it and make the exhaust valve. I'll first go to geometry and click on this. I will change the material to cobalt chromium alloy. Next, I'll go to meshing. I'll change the sizing to fine and update. Next, I'll go to static structural and I will insert fix support on this surface. Then I will insert pressure on the other end. The maximum pressure that these kind of walls can be subjected to is 20 megapascal. Now, since that is the highest value, I am not adding the highest limit. I am giving a random value of 15 megapascal. If you have any other data with you, you can use that. Or you can also test this wall for its maximum capacity that is 20 megapascal. Next, I will go to solution and insert deformation total. I will also insert strain equivalent. I will insert stress equivalent. I will go to tools and I will click on stress tool. In stress tool, you can see the safety factor. Next, I'll go to solution and solve. We'll first check the total deformation. You can animate and check the result. This is the positioning of your puppet valve and this is how it is going to work. So the total deformation that I obtained for 15 megapascal pressure is 0.69 mm. This is the total deformation that is the maximum value. The rest of the values are available at different colors. So as and when you find a different color, you can just refer here for its value. Next, I'll go to equivalent elastic strain. So you can see here the maximum strain is in this zone. And also there is strain over here. Internally, you can see the strain at this position. Something that you can see here. And the maximum value is 0 0.02762. You can again animate and check this result. So that you can see where the strain is more. Next, we'll go to equivalent stress. The maximum value of stress on this wall is 5470 megapascal. We can animate and check the result. We will see the safety factor. You can see here. This is the safety factor over the entire body. The zone which is blue has maximum safety factor that is 15. And the color red over here indicates minimum safety factor. So this is the zone where you will find that your valve is not safe under this pressure. So that's how you analyze the engine valve for the static structure analysis. I hope you have understood how to analyze the walls. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section.
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.